Despite being nowhere near the end of the season and where the transfer window starts, there's already been a lot of talk about what Arsenal are going to do in the summer because it's believed to be a big year for the club. And there seems to be a lot of players that Arsenal are interested in and are ready to sign in the summer. But one of the big questions is, is what we are going to do with the midfield. With Thomas Partey leaving and Jorginho getting no younger, there is definitely a gap there. And it is seen that Supermendi could be the answer to these questions. However, another candidate has come up being Frankie De Jong from Barcelona. But is De Jong the right answer for Arsenal and should Arsenal get him over Zubamendi. Let's have a look. Now I've been someone that has been very happy with Arsenal's links to Zubamendi. I think he'd be a brilliant option next to Declan Rice and that double pivot that we use against Liverpool he could be a great option. Zubamendi is more as a six of a defensive midfielder and he likes passing the ball out to other players that will progress the ball and move forward with it. I did a video about Zubamendi if you want to go and check that out. Separately Frankie De Jong is a bit of a different player. He's much more attacking, he's much more progressive on the ball and likes moving up with it. He's not necessarily so assured with the tackling and he's not necessarily a physical defensive midfielder. I would suggest he's more of an eight than a six. Now, Zuba Mendy is someone that likes intelligent pick up loose balls and presses in the right moment. And sometimes his stats for pressing wise look a bit better than they are because he's not a real confined presser. He does it when he expects to and when he thinks it's the best opportunity. He's also not that quick. He's much more mobile and quicker than Jorginho, but he's not necessarily a quick player that's going to be on a turn and quickly give the ball out. He sometimes takes a bit of time with the ball, pretty, pretty Spanish way and takes his time. Now, Frankie De Jong actually plays in a team that obviously have the ball a lot more and a lot more progressive. Every single game, he is being the main key part of Barcelona's midfield and he's doing the most passes and most progression in that side. He sits at astonishingly amount of 10 progressive passes per game, which is in the top 1% of European midfielders, while also having around 3 carries per game and making up to 90 passes with a 91% pass accuracy. Now, while we don't know the stature of these passes, this is an incredible number. It means that he's making so many passes a game and being very influential on it. And if Frankie De Jong was to join Arsenal he would be moved into that eight role and you would play Declan Rice as the sixth main defender simply because De Jong is not really a tackler or a fighter in that sense he's more of a creative deeper player. Now to say Frankie De Jong doesn't do any defensive work would be lying he's very good at aerial duels specifically he's very good at long balls getting due to him and he does do a lot of game getting a 1.45 which is not a bad level and he's such an assured passer that he could be that Jorginho role he's very much more mobile and quicker and on the term could help Arsenal in big game especially against teams like Liverpool where that Jorginho system worked brilliantly of recycling the ball all the time and I think that could work however this also could work with Supermendi because Supermendi can play as that deep line playmaker and he needs to press when he wants now the main reason why this is coming about is because there's so many issues with this necessarily now Supermendi and Rice could work very well in specific games I think against teams that like don't have a low block against us such as a Liverpool or Manchester City it would work brilliantly and obviously you want them levels against them big teams. Sometimes when teams play against a low block against Arsenal, we struggle to get on the ball. With Havertz moving in there and Declan Rice sitting in a single pivot, it's often easy to break upon us. And it's a lot of creative work on Odegaard in midfield. And often he can't really provide that because he's not a natural creative monster. So someone like Frankie de Jong in that eight role on that left centre mid could help this situation. And against the low block, he has a lot of creative numbers that can do great passing and great progressive numbers that could help us get into positions on the break and break down a low block. And therefore, picking up De Jong or Zubamendi, it's not really either of them. It's not really the wrong decision. It just depends how Arsenal and Arteta want to move the team in certain directions and what they feel is the most comfortable for someone to adapt to. Is it more comfortable to put De Jong in that eight in the majority of roles and have that? Or is it more comfortable to have that double pivot with Zubamendi, even in games against low blocks? Because Zubamendi does have a great pressing and timing that could help us not be broke upon and maybe he could break down some of the play. And a very interesting Arteta quote that he has said is he said, said more than control I want dominance dominance is the right area not allowing the opponent to breathe this is what we do control is certain areas of the pitch I'm not interested in all of that because we can get in trouble by trying to do that and this makes me feel like he wants to have someone who's better at the aerial stats better at pressing like Zubamendi despite Zubamendi picking and choosing not being a natural presser and Declan Rice is seen as probably a natural six. I do think he has done a lot of leaps and bounds in that eight role, progressing with the ball. And he showed that he could actually be quite a useful person just coming outside the box and creatively. So maybe that is the role you want with Zubamendi in a six because Zubamendi isn't a brilliant eight. So he would have to be a natural six. And maybe if you put Frankie de Jong next to him, it would be a bit of a dual eight or maybe Rice would move back into the six more defensively than Frankie de Jong. Now there's more to this as well because Zubamendi might be seen as an eight. He's played at an eight 
most of his real Sociedad career, but a lot of people are saying that he could actually be more suited to a sixth left centre mid role in the Premier League. This is because he has great anticipation of moving up the pitch and winning the ball back, and naturally he has a lot of good creative awarenesses in his game to actually maybe make him have a little bit of creative output there. Maybe it could be better than Declan Rice, and you could still put Declan Rice in his natural sixth position. However, I wouldn't necessarily want to buy one of the best defensive midfielders in Europe right now and just not play him in defensive midfield. It doesn't make much sense, and I think Rice is getting better better at eight but I do think you probably still want him at six this is why to me Frankie De Jong would probably be the perfect option but it always depends on what Arteta wants to do and if I was being honest I'd say right now in the progression of the two players Frankie De Jong is a better on the ball player than Zuba Mendy he's much better running with it passing with it and being more creative with it so it's much more an easy transition to get him to play in that position than Zuba Mendy and the reason why all these talks keep happening is because there's a lot of news going on about Barcelona they need to sell they're probably going to have to sell Frankie De Jong and it's much as he has got two or three years left on his contract he's wanted to leave and nearly left before and you could probably get him for a bit of a cut price deal around the same price we're going to spend for Zuba Mendy anyway. Arteta does like Zuba Mendy however and he's wanted him for many years now. It might be a plan just to convince him to come that he may just end up getting him anyway. He's obviously from Bass from the same area Arteta grew up in and you know he loves his Spanish players. To me Zuba Mendy is a very good decent all-round player and defensively can really help us strongly put things together. It's like when I linked us to Onana I think that's defensive levels that you would get for him and he's a bit of a dual monster he'll be in there fighting every game but De Jong is a much more flair player that might give you more creative output going forward and help us against low blocks but do you really want to be playing Rice and De Jong against the top teams in the country or in the Champions League not really so it depends what the long outcome for this team is and I think off the ball Supermendi is probably a much more better player than De Jong and he probably could help Arsenal stitch together the midfield when Arsenal don't have the ball against big teams while also not having the ball on the break against smaller teams as well however we may still struggle to break down low blocks we're just going to have to try and be ruthless and try and get the anticipation we did last year when we kept scoring however maybe if we sign a clinical striker as well them issues are not as bad because then if we take our chances a lot more then it's not really a big deal because we will create chances against a low block eventually even with Super Mendy in there and thoughts that Frankie de Jong is a six are really bad I don't think he's anywhere near the level of a six or would be in the Premier League and I think if he came to this league he would probably have to play as an eight and it is a shame because as much as Declan Rice is a six I think we've really seen him excel in that eight position in a lot of games but it'll be very interesting to see who Arsenal get in the summer and who we actually try and get more importantly see what direction the team are going in because Rice needs a proper long-term partner in there that can sustain our team and hopefully join it all together where we can have all the cogs to make this team proper work again now it still may be really hard to get Frankie de Jong and Zuba Mendy and it might take a lot of willpower and a lot of determination to even get one of them so it'd be very interesting I'm not saying this is a done deal or we're getting them I just want to have the discussion of who do you guys prefer Zuba Mendy or Frankie De Jong right now let me know what you have to say about the team and the Arsenal game we're playing West Ham today good luck to the boys and I appreciate you guys viewing this video today if you want to watch any of more of my content I would recommend the video I did yesterday on talking about Gabriel Jesus' future in the club and let me know what you think in the comments thank you for watching